There we go. Got him. Small fish. I couldn't find anything in that bay over there where I was nailing them the other day with bullheads and perch. So I moved out onto this jetty. I hiked out here. It sticks out into the lake. I can hit the deeper channel. I found the perch. I can't believe it. Jumbo perch right off the bat. Wow. That's amazing. I figured if they, they were staging there and it got colder, they, they moved out a little deeper. And I think I hit it on the head. Looks like I'm on a school of jumbo perch. That's a beauty. Definitely a 12. Maybe a, yeah, right around there. Probably 12 or 12.1. There we go. I'm running uh, three-way slip sinker rigs today. I'll show you what I mean once I get this guy in. Yep, another beautiful perch. Glad I found him. I had to scout out a few areas this morning. That last one was 12. This one's probably real fat. 11 and a half, right around there. What they'll usually do is once you find a contour where the perch are on, like this drop off right here, I'm on a jetty that goes out into the lake. Um, what will usually happen is that, you know, they'll school up by size and then they'll roam around. So they'll like stay on this contour probably and they're moving back and forth and that's why I'm getting hits every 10 minutes or so. Every 15, you know. That's a beauty though. I'll show you this rig I'm using. Um, to pop this hook out here. Starts with a size 4 Aberdeen hook on a 6 pound fluoro leader. Goes to a size 18 barrel swivel and that connects to the main line. And then I have a sliding barrel swivel right here and some lighter mono to a weight so that it breaks off easier if the weight gets snagged. Um, exactly like a free weight rig except it slips too. So that when they tug on it, instead of tugging on the weight, once the weight gets really far away from the hook, they, it tugs on the rod tip and so it gives me more um, info on what they're doing down there. There we go. Just barely tapping it. Oh man, I'm so excited I'm on a good school. These are definitely top two or three favorite fish. They might be my favorite fish to catch. Just because I love the idea of catching big perch so much. I really want to get one in the upper teens. That's a beauty right there, man. That's a huge one. That's a... That's got to be a 14. 13 three quarters or 14. That last one was more like 10 and a half, 11. That's a really nice perch right there. Not a monster, but a nice one. What the heck is going on here? Holy cow. Something just took this and ran with it. While I was catching this perch. That rod almost went in the water. That is crazy. I'm going to land this guy here. Put this perch back in the water for a second. So he doesn't die. This is insane. This must be like a... I don't want to say it must be a cart, but it might be. Wow, that was really close. My whole rig almost went in the water. Wow, what the heck? I don't want carp, I just want perch. <laughs> yeah, that perch right there isn't a monster, but it's a nice one. Definitely 13 and a half plus. I'll measure them after I get whatever the heck this is in. That Power Pro squeal, man. I just spooled this one up with Power Pro today, so it's a little, handles a little different. Still have the same fluoro leader rig on though. Crazy. This is a hot bite, man. Hot bite. For big fish. Yeah, this is a carp. Let's see him. Man, he almost took this whole thing in. Not a not a bad carp, probably not a big one, but probably decent sized. Crazy, just crazy. That was really close. Oh man. Yeah, 
small carp, I'd say. I don't know if he's even, might hit 30 inches, I don't know. Not a big carp. Shouldn't force him in though, but I'm trying to. Might break me off, I don't really care. As long as I get my rig back. Smaller one. This is gonna be a pain in the butt though, I don't have a net. I wasn't really planning on getting a carp. This is where they break you off if they're gonna, when they snap back around and swim out when you're trying to do this without a net. This is just a small guy, upper 20s. Uh, not really supposed to lift him by the gill plates. I'll try and grab him here by the mouth or something. Uh, yeah, small carp. 28 inches maybe, fat. There we go, finally. The water's really cold and the bite's been dying. It's been about an hour since I got a fish maybe. I had one on an hour ago just by the skin of the lip and it popped halfway in when I was reeling it in. Um, but uh, on top of that, they really aren't committing very well. Another beautiful jumbo. Not a monster by any means, but a quality perch. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, it's probably 12 or a hair over 12. Really fat, nice ones. There we go. Finally got one on again. Bite really slowed down. I lost a fish about half an hour ago after waiting for two hours because, uh, oh, it's a sucker, weird. Because a vine got caught on my on my line when I set the hook. I didn't expect a sucker. I was hoping you were a really nice perch with that sort of weight. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, it's okay. It's better than nothing, I guess. Small sucker. There we go. Got him. That doesn't seem like a perch. Seems like something else. Too big. Well, I don't want to see too big, but it's unlikely. It's a perch. Probably something else. What the heck? <laughs> Another sucker, really? Huh. Better one. Neat. Wow, 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 no, no, not in the tree. Holy cow. That's not a bad sucker. Oh, pretty good size one. Yeah, solid sucker. It's probably like a 22 incher, right around there. Awesome, another fish. Looks like a walleye. Cool. Everything's sort of moving in here now. It would help if I brought my net, but I had to hike in, so I kind of packed light. Yeah, small walleye. Decent size. 16, 17. Checking the poles, got something on. Another crazy sucker. Man, these things are just fighters right now. Oh, lift them up here. Yeah, probably 17 incher, right around there, small one. 